Hello, I'm Spectre. Welcome back to Trove. I am here. Whoa. I am back in my house. Although, um, if you've seen the other videos, you'll notice that my house is slightly, eh, just slightly different. <laughs> I decided to make a, my house a little bit more proper, like an actual house. So, yeah. Although it, its design is very similar to like the early houses that you make, that you acquire in the beginning. Ooh, and I actually have a garden here. I have a legit garden here. I also, of course, this garden here is not exactly big enough to you know be called a garden. So what I, I intend to do is, I made this tree house. Well, it's a tree basically to extend my gardening, and I'll probably be making like more and more and more like tops places and stuff. And I'm going to be extending it this way, so my, my garden for farming steed feed and all that kind of stuff is going to be um, a, uh, yeah, one of these things. It's going to be like a giant tree that's going to be going up and up and up and up and up. And as for my actual house, okay, first we, we want to gather these. Want to gather that rage fertilizer. Yep, there we go, let's gather all of that. And uh, yeah, so my actual house is here. This is my actual house. I have uh, my... Uh, my chest here, my rejuvenation station, loot collector and uh, crafting bench on, this, on the dot. I also have a little table here with some pizza and a bookshelf, just for, in case I want to read something. I finally got windows as well. It's a bit homely. The, the whole idea was to make like a, just an ordinary looking house. But in here, I have like a secret place and it goes into like an underground like, you know, like an underground layer with everything else. I intend to make it deeper. Like I'm gonna make like I'm gonna be using jump pads like elevators, and I'm gonna be like you know. I'm gonna be like using this in order to like move around into like the um, into the house, and it, it'll be basically instead of uh, going upwards, it'll be going like gonna, there's gonna be like floors going downwards and downwards and downwards basically. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I, I like this design. It's pretty cool looking. Um, so what I want right now is. What I might do is I might do like um, I might be doing some dungeoneering, some dungeons. Uh, and I'm gonna be choosing. Let's see. I kind of want. Uh, I kind of want my. I want to grab my Tomb Razor, who is my favorite class, and I kind of want to use him. And I want to go do some dungeons. I want to do like the dungeons. Yeah, basically. Uh, oh yeah. There's also a. Uh, a uh, daily like dragon coin reward, but obviously I, I only just started Trove now, so yeah, there's no way I can do the dungeons in like one minute. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to be doing some dungeons, loads of dungeons. This is basically what you have to do in order to like, you know, make progress into the game. Oh, look at that guy when he's epic dragon. Ah, oh. I really want. That. Uh, I, re I really like to have like uh, a dragon mode. I'm still. I need. Um, what you call it? A lot of bones, basically. I have the coins. I just need the bones. That's what I need. I kind of want to prioritize going into a. Uh, I'm in an Uber three difficulty, so this is a uh, very tough. Um, in this difficulty, like it's it's where you really need to start uh, having teamworks unless you have some really really good gear or you have. Um, well, yeah, basically, either you have a group or a, a good team. But with the, um, with, with the, uh, with the Tomb Razor, I believe I can actually make, I, I can actually, I can survive. I, I can say that I can survive quite well. My controller is vibrating because of the, uh, the time that's about to run out. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't even know there was lava in there. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Ugh. Okay, so, um, yeah, with the Tomb Razor, I can just send my minions in for action, and I just sit back and uh, I kill them and do, yeah, deal some more damage to the enemies, so that's pretty much the tactic for the Tomb Razor, and it's very effective, I've, uh, it's actually very effective, I kind of like it, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of guys, that's a lot of guys right there. So this is my ultimate, I create this, like, giant tanking skeleton thingy and the thing is I can actually keep as long as I have like souls I can actually keep making more and more uh, soldiers so I don't know what's the limit so far I've been able to make like I don't know maybe I'm gonna say at least 
six to seven uh, soldiers, or skeleton soldiers, which is pretty good actually. It's pretty decent. Um, so what I want right now is I just need to do this dungeon here. If only I knew where to go. Whoa! These guys are hitting me everywhere. They actually don't have enemies. Don't really have a line of sight. They have a simple 360 degree angle of sensing you. As soon as you enter that range, it's like they see you, which is, it's not very realistic, you know? I mean, it's a very simple programming, but at the same time, you know, it, it'd be nice to be able to sneak by them or like surprise them or something. That'd be really great. Ow, yeah. That took half my health with just one hit. That's how powerful these guys are, until you actually become strong enough. Oh, this guy's uh, kind of like a boss. He has a thing about his head. No wonder. Okay, let's just do this. Nice. There we go. Oh, he is a boss! Oh! I didn't know I think he was a boss. Okay. So, we'll just grab this. Um, where am I going? Where's the main boss? Probably where all the enemies are. The enemies? The enemies. So, let's just do this, do this. You really, in this part of the game, you really need to pay attention to, uh, to your health. Because, like, enemies here are very strong and they can, like, reduce your health to zero in, like, two hits, tops. And some of them can even one-shot you, so it's very important to, like, mine your health. Uh, the whole thing is, um... You need to acquire good loot to basically increase your item count, to increase your power, uh, to your power rank as much as possible. That's that's pretty much what you need to do. Um, although it can be a little bit tricky when you know, like, since I hate this ability, I hate this ability, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Ow, 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 ow! And I can't dodge a lot, so there we go. I did it. Whew. Okay, so now I can do this. And... What did I do now? Oh, okay. So basically, I defeated uh, one of the bosses. Oh, there's another guy who just joined me. He is going straight for the boss, so I'm just gonna follow him. Um, he's really fast for a little guy. Look at him, he's so tiny, and yet he's faster than me. <laughs> he's faster than my mount! Are you kidding me? I mean, our mounts are really, really, like, you know, not very impressive, but... Is this the boss? I think it's the boss. Okay, let's just do this. Um, and we can... What is this? Oh, that's one of these abilities. Okay, my bad. So, we can do this, and we are attacking as a team. We should be able to beat him, no problem, since now we are like... Uh... Since now we are in a group, we should be able to like... I'm just spreading my minions all over the place. I'm gonna uh, switch to my power mode and Ooh, that, that worked. There's a lot of spikes on the ground, but so... oh, that's okay. We did it. We actually did. It. So it's good. So this is actually one of the big dungeons. It's kind of like two different dungeons at once. So and boom, done. Oh, there's one more guy out there. Let's surround him, surround him, buddy. What is he? I think he's a shadow something? Shadow hunter? I think he might be. Anyways, well, we did this particular round, which is good. So, what are we doing next? Uh, I kind of want to go to the dark areas, because that's where we, we will be acquiring... I need uh, bleached bones believe it or not. Um, basically, I need bleach bones in order to be able to acquire my uh, my new mount. Well, to, in order to progress with the Dragon Souls, but, you know, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm just going to make a, a few more dungeons, maybe another big one or something, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be... Um... Oh, we also have some uh, chests here that we can unlock. Oh, we've been getting a lot of rare um, gems here. We got some of these, physical damage, I might keep that for my next class, because I am right now Master Rank 24, and I get another class coin 
uh, for another class in my next master rank. So I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to uh, just level up my character and uh, I think one more level and I should be able to increase my master rank and you know what, what I think what I'm going to do is because my Tomb Raider is already level 16 and that's not a very high level what I might do just to increase my master rank a little faster is I might switch to my other character to my Dragonier go into a low level um, uh, to a, a lower level I think like an uber 2 for example or an uber 1 um, dungeon with my Dragonier or Dragolite and um, yeah I might be able to level him up by doing dungeons and by doing so I should uh, acquire a, a new mastery rank where I can acquire a new class coin which would be awesome so yeah I'm going to um, cut ahead in the video and once I'm uh, ready with my dragolite and in the uber either one or two I will meet you guys there so yeah see you in a bit all right I'm back and I am uh, in a uber to um, difficulty world uh, this is the spawn point so now I, we, we all just spawned and um, oh what is that Looks like there's a, um, what do you call it, a merchant over here. So I want to quickly just go to him and see what he has for sale, if he has anything good. <laughs> I mean, my, I'm always like hoping for something cheap so I can acquire something. But yeah, hey, hang on a second. What the hell is that? A raptor soul trap. Open it for a free new raptor ally. Has a chance of containing the rare ally, Rapt Berserker. I can actually acquire this. All right, let's get it. Something cheap for once. Wow, wishful thinking. All right, let's let's open it. Nice, you got a blue raptor ally. Ooh, we got a new ally. Sweet. Let's see him. Let's see what he looks like. And we also need to check what he does as well. Um, mystery, I think. Yeah. No, actually, no. That's a QB thing. That's the cotton ally. Where is he? Oh yeah, I need to I need to uh, unlock him. I think first. There we go. There. This is not in your collection. We can unlock this guy. Add to your collection. Blue ally. What does he do? Plus two movement speed. Plus laser mancy. And boom, we unlocked him. Sweet. So we now we now we have a new ally. So what I want to do is I want to go here. Treasure Isles. There it is. And let's have a look at him. Let's see what he looks like. Yes. Did I select him? Hello? Hello? Oh, hang on. I have to do this? Yeah. There he is! I have a new raptor ally. Look at him! Oh my god, he's so tiny! Oh, let's call him Tiny. I wanna call him Tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness. I get distracted. I, 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 <laughs> I go to do something and something always tends to distract me. Okay, hopefully. I think this will do just fine. The Neon City. We might as well. Oh, that's a house. I thought this was a dungeon. Wow. Now that is a cool looking house right there. Um, perks to whoever you are. Let me give you a, a proper shout out, my friend. You are named... Um, Kill Dragon 2000. Very nice house. I actually mistook this for a dungeon here in the Neon City. Wow. Well done. Well done to you. Okay, so what I want now, so I got at least, I got a couple of cool allies. I believe I applied a style for my dragon ally. Um, I basically applied a style, which means that, um, it means that I will, I should be, um, I lost my words, hang on. I lost my train of thought, one second. Um, what was I thinking? I can't throw anything because I need to do something very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just really quickly going to go through all of these and clear my inventory because this is important. I kind of want to keep these just in case um, we got all of these. Okay, so we'll we'll acquire all of these. Why did this not get selected? There we go. That was weird. Oh, and this one. I didn't even knew it. I didn't even knew it. See this one. Did I miss anything? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I keep I keep dodging myself. Okay. Now let's go over here. I don't know how difficult this place. Oh, bleached bones. This is what we're looking for. Okay, I now have 13. I need, I need a lot more, a lot more. My inventory is almost completely full. I need to find another inventory. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, um, okay, there's a dungeon right here. I don't know how tough these guys are. They're definitely a lot tougher, and I don't know how. Wait, is this a dungeon as well? It is a dungeon. I didn't even know that. Oh wow. Okay, I'm, I'm coming with you. Wait for me. Wait for me, buddy. Oh, he's exactly what I am. I 
didn't see anything. I can see. I can see. I can see. Whoa, we got this guy. Okay. Dragon form. Dragon form. Ooh. Okay. Overwhelmed guy. Let's do this one. We got two dragons. <laughs> so two dragons. How could we lose with two dragons? I mean, come on. So we got this. Um, we got all the thingies. That's good. And let's get out of here. Yay. Okay. How could we lose with two dragons here? Welling at him. I believe each each dungeon and difficulty is set for like, I think it's set for like you know to be played at, to be soloed. So when you have another player with you, it tends to become a little bit easier, which is you know, no, no nothing bad there. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna like we're gonna make with a dynamic entry. We're gonna we're gonna bust open. Can I jump that high? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we did. We did it. We did. We did. So now we are inside. It's like sneaking in. Ooh, and there's a boss right here. Is he a boss? I think he's a boss. He might be a boss. He is a boss. Okay. So we're not going around. We're not going around. We're just gonna go immediately like this to this form. I need to watch my health because I don't want him to destroy my health. Well. There we go. Just barely. Just barely. Whoa! What happened there? Whoa! No! 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 My price is up there. Oi! Oi! Okay, time to do uh, time to do this. Oh crap! Why do I? Okay, you know what? Okay, I'll 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 deal with you because I don't want you to wait. Oh, and I actually triggered my uh my loot. That's good. That's very that's very good. Okay, so now, let's um, where are my blocks? Okay, let's just do. I need to find a block that I don't need. There we go. So let's do this because it's the only way. How did I drop from this hole? How did this hole become created? Become created. That yeah, that, that actually makes sense. <laughs> that was weird. Did the boss create the hole? Did I just kill like the final boss? I think I did. I actually defeated the last boss. Ha! I didn't even notice him. Ha <laughs> Lol. So where are the other bosses then? Are they somewhere around here? Or is this just a place? This looks like a mausoleum. Like a legit mausoleum. <laughs> Yikes. So we are... What level are we? Um, where did I come from? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Wait, is that a boss? The Golden Scarab. Yeah, this is another boss. Okay. Let's defeat you. Let's defeat you. Let's defeat you. With my dragon form. It's, a, it's actually pretty cool to use the dragon form, like, you know, whenever it's ready, because it, it, it does recharge rather quickly. You just, you know, you just need it. You don't, you don't have it on the spot, but, you know. By the time you find the next boss, it always like, you know, it, it resets its cooldown, so which is good. It's, I like that about this. So now what we want to do is we want to go... Is there another boss around here? I mean, I kind of want to just leave, I guess? Where's my window? Where's the window that I came in here? Yeah, there it is. I need to pile up to it. I mean, I already beat the, like, the strongest boss in here, so... I don't see the point in, like, staying here, so... Yeah, let's just mo move to another dungeon. Does it say? Yeah, it actually does say that it's been completed. So you killed the last boss, and that's it. It, it, it counts as being completed. Interesting. All right, I kind of want to level up my Dragolite. I'm hoping that that will make my mastery rank 25, and I will be able to acquire a new class coin. Well, this is the bad. The bad thing about this game is that you can only acquire three total characters. You can acquire one in the beginning, one once you reach, uh, I think, level mastery rank five. And one when you reach Master Rank 25, but that's about it. After that, you have to spend real money to acquire a new class. Which is too bad. It's very, very bad. I wish they did it so that you can actually, like, because you do acquire qubits by doing stuff, I wish they actually made it so that you can actually unlock classes with qubits instead. You know, like, you know, like 10,000 qubits and you can acquire a new class. That, that takes a time, that takes a lot of play time in order to acquire. And, you know, that would be nice. Oh, I believe I believe there was a time when that was actually a thing where you actually needed qubits to unlock new classes because in the PC version I actually did that I actually ac acquired qubits and I had unlocked a lot of classes and I'm really sad because I you know even though I, I linked my account with uh, my PC version it still it still is this thing it 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 still you know. It still didn't allow me to. It, it's like it acts as a new game plus. You cannot pass your items or equipment from the other place. It, it just gives you an ally and that kind of stuff. That is a very bad move. I don't. I didn't like that. A bit greedy, I might say. 
but you know. Oh well. Oh whoa whoa whoa! I'm about to die here. Um, so yeah, we did this. We acquired some more loot, and we're oh. There's a bit of a glitch that when you actually uh, use the horse, it actually like somehow it it keeps my dragon form. Oh, what is that? I see an enemy. I see. Is that a golden soul? I think it it might be a golden soul. Oh, that's not an enemy. That looks like a like an enemy. Okay, let's do let's acquire this golden soul, and you know what? Let's use. Oh, there's two golden souls. Ooh, I like that. I need that for my um for the dragon thingy, my bobs. So let's unlock these. Did I unlock something? Did I get something? I have no idea. Oh, there's something here. Oh, what's this? Doorway to darkness. Ooh, plus eight jump. I like this. I got a shadow item. I never even noticed it. Wow. It's. I can upgrade this thing. I think my weapon here is... Oh, this is also rank... Hang on. What, what is this one? Oh, oh yes. The uh, shadow item is higher rank. Plus it gives me extra jumps. So I need to make it stronger. Okay. I need to make my my I need to make my uh, thing is stronger. My thing is stronger. My weapon stronger because shadow items can become a lot stronger than uh, rainbow items because they have a higher. Um, they have by default a higher. Um, what do you call it? Uh, ra rank, power rank. So I need to do this. Uh, before I do this, I want to first off remove any of this. Yeah. So I'm going to be upgrading it. But before I do that, I want to check. Just to make sure that, you know, everything is perfect. Um, I'm gonna remove these things because I don't need them. So there we go. We'll acquire this. I am so close. I might be able to do it in the next episode. Um, so yeah, I might be able to acquire another class coin and a new character with, uh, with the next episode. Because, okay, I did get a little distracted. I do like my new companion though. <laughs> Dungeoneering and a new ally. That's that's I think that's gonna be the name of the video, perhaps. Maybe something something similar. What did I want to do? I want to do something. Oh yeah, where's my forge? I wanted to upgrade. Um. So yeah, let's go to my upgrading here and let's add this. I should be able to upgrade you. I did, and I upgraded you. So now how strong are you? How much is your strength? So now yeah, w plus one magic strength. Wow, this thing is a lot stronger. But what is the difference? Mm -hmm. They're both the same thing. Well, now this thing is a lot stronger, plus I've also added a lot of stuff into it. So, yeah. Plus it gives me 8 jumps, which is very, very useful for parkouring and, or, or skipping parkouring. I can jump for ages. I like, the, the, I like that the ability. I like the ability to jump more than just 2 times. It's so good. Oh, and I got 3 more of these, which means I should be able, I should be able to upgrade my weapon one more time. Um, hang on, let me just check. Even though that's going to be, that's going to cost a lot. Yeah, I think I'll be able to do that. Yeah, there we go. Shadow level 2, which means that, yeah, my power rank is increased. Where is my... Uh, where is my... I keep mistaking the buttons. So, yeah, so now this is uh, power rank 62. So, definitely, yeah, definitely my power rank has been increased. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, uh, I guess I, I'm out of time for this video. But, yeah, I did some... Uh, always doing some, pro bleh, some progress when you're playing. So, I really like that. So, yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you get to see me in my next video. And... I hope by the next video I'll be able to complete the uh, complete my master rank 15 just to make sure I'm going to check right now. Um, there we go. So yeah, that 20, master rank 25 is a class coin, which means in the, my next video I should be able to acquire a new class coin. Oh man, a new character. Who is going to be my next character? I have no idea, but we can find out together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.